In an effort to combat terrorism, the New York Police Department monitors Muslim neighborhoods in not only New York, but New Jersey as well. Joining us right now is Fox News legal analyst Morning. Peter Johnson, Jr. You? The Department of Justice headed up by Eric Holder, who said he was disturbed by what was going on by Well, cops. the allegation is that there's a monitoring, but in, in speaking to a high-level law enforcement source here in, in New York City, it's much clearer that, in fact, um, it's following leads. Sure. It's investigation. And so if we're going to bow to political pressure and political correctness in this country and have that impinge on legitimate investigations to stop terrorism attacks, right. then we will have another terrorism attack. Then, unfortunately, thousands of people will die in this city or some other American city when we allow that political correctness to seep into investigative techniques. Um, and, and I think that there's been a lot of misinformation uh, on this. And, and clearly, you see former Mayor Ed Koch, 9-11 survivors, speaking out on behalf of the NYPD and Commissioner Ray Kelly uh, and saying, no, um, there's no proof of any wrongdoing. My concern, Steve, mm -hmm. is that a political football results in deaths of people. Because if they sure. stop for one day what they're doing, and you pointed out uh, earlier on the show, 14, at least 14 terrorist attacks that we know of right. have been thwarted as a result of the NYP activities. And so when you start to drag 30-something thousand police officers through the mud and subject them to this kind of political um, uh, hangman approach, mm -hmm. including the commission, I, I think it's bad for policing. Absolutely. The whole idea is to keep us safe. And they didn't break any laws. Something to think about. All right, okay. uh, Peter Johnson, Jr. Good to see you. Thank you very Be much. Well.